हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स आई एम डॉक्टर रविंदर राठौड़ दिस इज आवर फोर्थ वीडियो ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग ग्राफिक्स और इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर पॉलीगन्स सो वी नो द पॉलीगन्स मींस पॉली मींस मेनी सो पॉलीगन मींस मेनी साइड्स so different sides so two sided three sides is there we can call it is triangle and four sides is there we can call it is square and more than four sides is there we can go for different methods so in this polygons we have three methods method 1 method 2 and method 3 are there so these three methods today we are going to discuss okay so let us uh, start our topic now so this is polygon this is polygon so first we go for method 1 method 1 method 1 so here in this uh, polygon method 1 one, one side of the polygon he will give he will give the one side of the polygon suppose assume that it is a 50 mm 50 mm one side of the polygon is given 50 mm so in this these two points are <laughs> ye and b a and b and uh, so this is given data so by using method 1 construct a polygon either pentagon or hexagon or heptagon by using this method 1 we have to construct so for this what we have to do the method is so a to b is given 50 mm so take another 50 mm extra take another 50 mm extra and uh, mark the point name is c with this center point b Up to A is the radius. Draw a semicircle. Draw a semicircle. Okay. So with this center B, up to A is the radius. Draw a semicircle. Suppose if you want to draw the pentagon or hexagon, assume that it is hexagon. So we know the hexagon means uh, it is six sides. It is six sides. Heptagon means seven sides. so <clears throat> heptagon means seven sides octagon means eight sides okay so like that we can go for pentagon means five sides suppose if you want to draw a hexagon hexagon by using method 1 so this is totally 360 degrees circle total circle is 360 degrees and this is semi circle it is 180 degrees divided by number of sides suppose if you want to construct a hexagon divided by 6 so you will get a uh, 30 degrees you will get 30 180 divided by 6 means you will get 30 degrees so 30 degrees means from here you take 30 30 30 like that you will get a uh, total 6 equal parts 6 equal parts so join this all the points to this node point b all the node point to the b and give the numbering 1 2 3 4 5 and this is 6 okay remember here always uh, the extended base is called one of the side of the polygon always extended base is called the one side of the polygon and uh, second line always second line is the one side of the polygon so we are constructing hexagon so already two sides we got in method 1 always second is the reference line so this reference line is called one side of the polygon so already one side you got it here and the extended base also one side of the polygon so two side you got it so between these two lines between these two lines we have three lines are there just to extend the line blindly extend the line like that just to extend the line just to extend the whatever the between these two lines are there just to extend the line and take the radius is equal to b to c or B to two, so this is also fifty. This is also fifty. Yeah, take directly. You radius is equal to fifty mm. One side of the polygon. C is the center and cut the first line. C is the center, cut the first line. In the same manner, in the same manner with this center, this cut the next line. So with this center, cut the next line. And if you from here, if you check here, automatically you will get at two. So or you can start from here also. From this point to this point, cut the point, cut this point, cut this point, and cut this point. now join this all the sides 
all the sides so you will get a directly hexagon so our requirement is hexagon so in examination also you must tick the hexagon you must tick the hexagon that's why easily we can identify the examiner also easily he can identify the actual figure so like that after completion of the figure with hb pencil you must tick the figure so this is the hexagon so by using method 1 if you want to go for print hectagon so divide this into equal number of seven parts means 180 divided by 7 simple thing 180 divided by 7 so how much you will get uh, just uh, whatever the degrees is given suppose 22.5 something you will get na so same degrees you keep here and divide the semicircle into equal number of seven parts and always second point is the reference line so one side of the polygon you will get base is one side one side is there and between these two four lines you will get extend four lines and same similar method so how much side is given same diameter you take it keep the center one and cut number of points so like that we can go for pentagon hexagon heptagon and octagon this is regarding method 1 so next one is method 2 in the polygon method 2 okay here also same thing one side of the polygon is given 50 mm so give the numbering a to b is given 50 mm assume that the given length one side of the polygon is given 50 mm and by using method 2 construct a polygon okay so here also same thing extend the other side in the previous method as a previous method and give the numbering c with the center b up to a is the radius draw a semi circle this is also same similar one and uh, divide equal number of parts so that is also same thing suppose if you want to construct a pentagon five sides if you want to construct a pentagon five sides so this is 180 degrees we know semi circle So 180 divided by 5. So how much you will get? 20. So this is around 36 degrees. Okay. So 180 divided by 5, 36 degrees you will get. So you will divide equal number of parts from here 36 degrees, 70 degrees. From here, thirty-six, seventy-two. So you will get five equal number of parts. So join all the points to this center point. Node point. This is B. Okay. So these are all with two H pencil. So this is not our solution. This is only construction procedure. That's why construction procedure with two H pencil. And in the same previous method, one side of the polygon. This is numbering. Suppose one, two, three, four, five. So always second line is the reference line. I told that in the previous method also. So now this is method two in polygon. So same similar as one side is given 50 mm. Okay, and the extended form extends it to another 50 mm. And uh, draw the semicircle with the center of this B, and divide equal number of five parts. Suppose if you want to pentagon, so pentagon is number of equal sides is five. That's why you go for five equal number of parts. So this is 180 degrees divided by five equal number of parts. So you will get thirty six degrees, and give the numbering same one two three four five as previous, and always we already discussed that the second line is the reference line, the second line is the reference line, and uh, and uh, extended base line also one of the side of the polygon. So already we got two sides, and here what we have to do in the second method, so this extended base line B to C. Divide into equal number of two parts. Okay, so take more than half is the radius. We know how to line dividing. That we learned in the previous video. That is geometrical constructions. So by using that method, so B is the center, up to more than half is the radius. Draw the two arcs both sides of this line. Draw the two arcs both sides of the line with the same radius. Don't disturb the compass with the same radius. C is the center and cut these two arcs. Cut this two arcs in the same manner. This second line, second line also take more than half is the radius. B is the center and draw the two arcs both sides of this line with the same radius. Two is the center and cut these two arcs. Now join these two points by a straight line and here also join these two points by a straight line and extend the line straight line and extend this line. So these two lines, uh, 
this two line bisecting line this two intersected on one point so that is called that is called the center of a, this is the intersection point and give the number is o center point okay so by bisecting these two you will get intersection point o and now o is the center up to c r b r2 is the radius you can take o22 r o2b r o2c any radius you can take okay now o is the center up to 2 is the radius and draw a circle so definitely these two points will coincide and draw a circle or you can take 0 to b automatically these two sides coincide why because distance from this point these three points are equal so like that you draw a circle and then now take all you know the two sides of the polygon so take any one of the side 50 mm and now c is the center cut the line from here this point is the center cut the line this point is the center cut the line and uh, okay cut the line and now from this point is the center cut the line so automatically you will get five equal number of parts so from here from here you take a you take a <coughs> 50 mm is the radius so from this point you can start or from this point you can start so from this point if you start two is the center cut the circumference of the circle keep here the compass cut the circumference of the circle and keep here cut the circumference of the circle automatically it will join here so any fluctuations are coming means uh, you are making and uh, you made some mistake at uh, some level okay so if you follow the procedure correctly all the five sides equally you will get so this is a uh, uh, regarding a uh, method to pentagon suppose if you want hexagon automatically directly you go 180 by 6 so you will get 30 degrees so divide this semicircle into equal number of six parts okay these six parts and always second line is the reference line and this extended line is the um, same once again one side of the polygon same extended what 50 is there you take another 50 mm 60 is there you take 60 mm so two sides of the polygon you will get bisect this base and bisect this second line and uh, join extend these two lines so you will get intersection point from this center take two is the radius or b is the radius or c is the radius and draw a circle and take one side of the polygon and cut the number of points on the circle so you will get a number of sides so by using this you can go for one pentagon hexagon heptagon or octagon this is method two next we go for method three now in polygon sir we go for method three by using this method three how to construct the polygon so in this miracle is uh, in one circle itself in one figure itself we can go for all the polygons we can draw you can go for pentagon hexagon heptagon triangle square like that any type of polygon we can draw by using this method three okay so you see here here also suppose one of the side is given 30 mm or 40 mm assume that 30 mm or 40 mm or 50 whatever it may be so one side of the polygon is given that is a b is equal to 40 mm is given this is assumption only 40 mm is given and in the previous case we what we done we extended same 40 mm you took another 40 mm but here you take the opposite side vertically 40 mm suppose here 40 is given you take another 40 mm here vertically okay and give the point name is c point name is c now join a to c by a straight line a to c by a straight line this is triangle and take the baseline given line uh, center point and draw the vertical line this vertical line should be parallel to this line okay so go for axis line we call it is axis line so axis line is like that you have to draw the we know the axis line one length of the line and dot one length of the line and dot this is axis line and uh, here b now procedure is b is center b is center listen carefully b is center up to a is the radius up to a is the radius and draw a arc it should touch to c automatically it touches to the c b is center up to a or c is the radius draw a arc so it touches both the point a to c while drawing this arc it intersects at one point it intersects at one point this intersection point is here on the vertical line mark the point and by using this line this is a line also cutting this is the a to c joining line <coughs> mark that point so first point name give the numbering is 4 why we are giving 4 means already triangle is over 3 sides and next coming figure is square <coughs> so square means we know 4 sides and uh, 
Next point is arc point is 6. Why we are giving 6 means uh, if you take the center point and draw a circle and uh, cut the point number of points, you will get exactly hexagon. So that's why we are giving number 6. Between these two points, measure the length, take the midpoint of this and this number is 5. This number is 5. So now see sequence 4, 5, 6. So measure 4 to 5 or 5 to 6 and same equal lengths you can take number of points on this line. So next one is 7, 8, 9 like that you can go for any number of sides of the polygon. So how do you draw the polygons? So square means we know already two sides is there. If you extend this side and this side you will get the square. Next you go for pentagon. So suppose 5 is center, 5 is center, up to A or B is the radius. Okay, got it? So up to 5 is the center, up to A or B is the radius. Draw a circle. Draw a circle. 5 is center, up to A or B is the radius. Draw a circle. No need to go for any measurement. Just blindly keep 5 is the center. Up to A is the radius, draw a circle, automatically B touches the B <coughs> and draw a circle. Now, now B or A is the center and take the radius is equal to one side of the polygon. One side of the polygon, how much? 40 mm. So take 40 mm is the radius and keep the center B and cut the axis, uh, circumference of the circle. At a circle, point 0.1. Now keep the compass here and cut the point, next point. And keep the compass here, cut the next point. And keep the compass here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So keep the compass here, cut the next point. And if you keep the compass here, automatically it touches this point. So depends upon you are taking point, 5 point or 6 points, directly you will get the pentagon. Okay, so join this point, join this point, join this point, join this point. So automatically you will get the pentagon. Suppose if you want hexagon, if you want hexagon, <coughs> if you want hexagon, what do you have to do? 6 is the center, up to A is the radius and draw a circle, draw a circle, draw a circle. Same once again, same procedure, 40 mm is the radius, why because it is one side of the polygon is given already. So same, 140 mm, you take 40 mm, B is the center and cut the second circle. 1, 2, 3, 4, you take a 4, 5 and 6. So automatically you will get 6 equal number of parts. So this is the first point, second side, third side, fourth side, fifth side and automatically 6 side is there. In the same manner, you can go for heptagon, seven sides. So directly you take seven is the center, up to A is the radius, draw the circle once again, and 40 is the radius, and cut on the circle number of points, you will get seven equal sides. So like that, you can go for, you can go for pentagon, pentagon, you can go for hexagon, and you can go for heptagon, octagon, nanogon, like that you can go for any equal number of sides. So this is the miracle of third method. So in the polygon, sir, already we discussed method 1, method 2 and uh, method 3. <coughs> These three we discussed uh, and in the small topic is there here. <coughs> Whatever the things uh, in the examination we are doing, uh, the HB to HB difference, pencil and number of uh, uh, different lines are very very important. So I will take one minute, one minute and I will explain uh, after completion of this. So, uh, <coughs> so up to this is uh, polygons is over. Now the small thing is, now the small thing is types of lines, types of types of lines. Why because if you go for line is very important. If you not so in examination, thick line, thin line, dotted line or projection lines, uh, whatever the lines are there. If you don't show the difference lines, uh, so in examination, you will not get maximum marks or uh, the figures may be wrong. <clears throat> so first one is thick lines. Thick lines. So thick line means uh, it is the final view. 
it is the final view thick line means it is the final view whatever the figure for which figure you are drawing that figure you must thick with the hb pencil so this is thick line it is with hb pencil and next one is thin lines thin lines thin line means it is light lines it is light lines so background lines construction lines projection lines and procedure for drawing the figure whatever the lines are there all lines with a 2h pencil by using 2h pencil we can go for thin lines and third one is <coughs> axis line axis lines axis line means uh, these lines always pass through the center of the object center of the object suppose circle is there or similar figure is there similar figure is there it pass through the center of the circle suppose uh, a circle is there so from through this uh, it is passing center point or similar figure is there any irregular shape of the figure is there it is passing from the center line so axis line is thick line or uh, small length of the line dot small length of the line dot small length of the line dot okay this is regarding axis line or like that we can go for small length of the line dot small length of the line dot okay this is regarding axis line and the fourth one is dotted line dotted lines so dotted lines means uh, this is also very very important which is hiding figure hidden figure or it is invisible figure in visible figure which figure is not visible or behind the figure that figure we must uh, invisible figure to your eyes uh, that we can show with a uh, dotted line all discontinued equispaced lines discontinued equispaced lines so these are the four important lines so now in the next video we are entering into the main topic in the next video we are going to enter into the main topic it is a uh, conic sections so under conic sections uh, parabola ellipse and hyperbola is there so next class we go for actual topics okay so these are all comes under basic constructions only but without this basics we cannot enter into the main part that's why these four videos uh, i made it for basics so if you improve the basics uh, it is very easy to understand uh, coming actual topics okay thank you thank you for your support so uh, try to uh, learn this four videos okay thank you huh? so dear students uh, from last 18 years uh, i am dealing this uh, engineering graphic subjects uh, so i might have seen that uh, many students uh, they are failing uh, because of this uh, uh, because in the subject of engineering graphics uh, or engineering drawing but really it is very 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 simple subject but in a sequence manner if you will not learn so it is very difficult to get pass marks so whatever these four videos i made it uh, these are all basics why because many students uh, they drawn 5 to 5 out of 5 figures in examination but they will get fail marks why because they are not showing the difference between hb pencil and 2h pencil which is actual figure which is constructed figure we cannot identify so i am going also examiner as a examiner and i am i, have, I want to correct many papers uh, so while uh, i observed that uh, they don't know that which is hp pencil and which is 2h pencil that is one problem and second thing is neatness of the drawing also very very important so you must draw the neatly and third point is third point is you must you must draw within the time you must draw the within the time why because many students first they will go first problem arrange it second problem they will go arrange it like that within two three problems so they will take whole time so it is very difficult to complete all the figures so you must pre plan it which figure how much time it is taking and how to complete all the figures within the given duration that is also very important and the last important point is last important point is uh, uh, the solving the problems in many test books i seen uh, many test books uh, i almost all referred uh, 10 test books uh, so one one book uh, different methods are there so by my experience uh, i made it which is not available in our test books also some of the methods uh, i myself constructed uh, uh, newly that's why uh, you try to follow all the linked videos uh, so definitely you will get maximum marks that assurance i am giving so you support 
and you are supporting already so thank you for your support so please subscribe those who are seeing my videos subscribe this video and uh, uh, make a small like and share your friends please Comment. pass this information to your side friends okay and uh, share it and uh, and uh, if any, if you want any uh, if you want uh, you are not understanding any topics uh, so please give in a comment form so definitely i will uh, uh, clear your doubts also if any doubt is there so give me feedback in the comment form so make a comment definitely i will answer so thank you once again so thank you for your support